As a result of COVID-19 precautions, students that could not attend the official opening were divided into lecture halls from where they could be part of the proceedings virtually at the main campus. The 2021 IUM SRC President Hendrik Dingi, in his words of encouragement to new and returning students, reiterated that for 2021 to be a year of improved performance, students need to be disciplined, especially in light of the realities of the COVID-19 pandemic. Fulfilling this, this call is requires from as a student strictly to discipline and commitment. This brings in terms of adjusting ourselves to the new normal life that we are living now with the life with the global challenges which is the COVID-19. That has need us to strictly to be disciplined in adhering in the safety precautions and regulation of its own regulations and protocol at all times. Our um, commitment in the sense that everyone who is selling an iron board should wear a seat belt more tightly by committing ourselves to our academical work and make it a priority number one. Therefore, it's only through disciplines and commitment that we can make the 2021st as a year of improved performance. In his keynote address, founder and chairman of the IUM Governing Council, Professor David Namwandi, welcomed new students who also took the IUM pledge. Professor Namwandi also elaborated on how IUM is on the move in light of the impact posed on education by the COVID-19 pandemic. IUM is on the move. Given the current pandemic, the mode of teaching has slightly been modified as it was said uh, by the Vice-Chancellor. Unlike the usual um, conventional face-to-face -face teaching, we have now embarked on a blended learning mode, i.e. e-learning, electronic teaching, or online if you want. I just want to sincere thank our management, academic and administrative staff for working tirelessly in ensuring that nothing is left to chance during this trying period. I'm convinced that with the right and positive attitude, we shall continue to be a winning team. He added that the first of its kind in Namibia Center for Environmental Studies is not the only IUM success story in development. In collaboration with technical partners in Europe, to be precise, from Vienna, Australia, Austria, the university has established a center of knowledge sciences, which will actively facilitate the transition of Namibia to an invested knowledge-based society through training, research, and innovation. Again, IUM is proud to be the touch, touch hero in this exciting field of knowledge sciences. IUM has also appointed a consultant to rebrand the IUM Alumni Association so the university has a proper database of its alumni as well as for formulating new benefits for its members. The event concluded with the departure of the academic procession.